Hey guys, it's Franco. Welcome back to my channel. So lately, in my last few videos, I've been having a lot of fun using ChatGPT and I've been looking at my most popular videos on YouTube, which are the reasons why you shouldn't go to a particular city. And I've been asking ChatGPT the reversal of why you should, in fact, go to that city. And there's one city that I've been missing, and it's the city that I'm living in currently, and that is Toronto, Ontario, Canada. As a person who has lived in Toronto for uh, way too long, I've been living here since 2013, took one year, lived in Calgary, moved back here. But I'll give you my honest thoughts about uh, why people should move to Toronto using ChatGPT. So if you like what you're hearing, give this video a good old smash because it is uh, 10 o'clock at night. But I figure I really want to record this for you guys. So with that said, guys, now let's begin this video. All right, so I've just logged on to ChatGPT and we're going to get straight to it. We're going to be asking it, can you give me six reasons why you should move to Toronto? And let's see what ChatGPT generates. Starting off at the top, we have economic opportunities. Number two, we have cultural diversity. Uh, number three, we have world-class education. Number four, healthcare system. Number five, arts, entertainment, and sports. And Number six, we have natural beauty and green spaces. So how we're going to approach this video, similar to what I did in the past, we're going to jump into each of the, the six points and I'm going to give you my thoughts or ask follow-up question to ChatGPT to determine the legitimacy of it. And I'll give you also just my personal thoughts of it as well. So looking at number one, we have economic opportunity. Toronto is Canada's economic hub and a major global city. It offers a wide range of job opportunities in various industries, including finance, technology, entertainment, healthcare, and more. The city is home to numerous multinational corporations, startups, and making it an ideal place for career growth and professional development. This is the reason why a lot of people move to Toronto. In fact, this is why a lot of people might even stay in Toronto, despite even not enjoying the, the city itself. Even though there's so many types of opportunities that exist out in Toronto, you're also paying a fortune to live in here. So there's kind of like a balance between the two. But I'm curious if I ask ChatGPT right now, um, what's the average salary? So I asked ChatGPT the average salary out in Toronto. The unfortunate part is that uh, ChatGPT, the data set only goes up to 2021. But as of September 2021, the average salary was around 55,000 to 60,000 for a full-time employment. I'm going to ask a follow-up question to ChatGPT is asking if just is 60k enough to live in Toronto. And I'm really curious to say if it's going to say it is or it is not. So on a 60k salary out in Toronto, it is achievable to live on your own. That is what I was doing earlier in the year. It's not really about how much money you make, rather how much you save that really makes the point. But still, even doing it strategically as I was, I was doing on a 65k uh, salary living on my own it is achievable but you don't have a lot of bandwidth I will admit with that at number two we have cultural diversity Toronto is one of the most multicultural cities in the world with over half of its population born outside of Canada this diversity is reflected in the city's vibrant neighborhoods set festivals events uh, cuisines living in Toronto allows you to explore and appreciate a rich tapestry of cultures from around the globe I will admit this is a hundred percent true I, I think I've seen that Toronto is the most diverse city even in the world. Just from my own personal experience, I have noticed even going to work and going to university that I find people from different backgrounds are open to different cuisines, uh, different ethnic uh, types of food. I find people out in uh, smaller cities because the availability of trying out different food options from different backgrounds aren't even an option in smaller cities. I find that people have a more limited uh, opinions or wanting to even try it. Whereas I find out in Toronto, I find anyone is willing to try uh, food from like different cultures. So according to the 2016 uh, Canadian census, approximately 51 and a half of the population in the city of Toronto identify as a visible minority. No surprise here, when I asked ChatGPT uh, the same question out in Winnipeg and Calgary, it was a 30% and out in Toronto, it's a 51 and a half a percentage basis of visible minorities. The population of Toronto is uh, a lot bigger in comparison to Winnipeg or Calgary. 
Looking at number three, we have world-class education. Toronto is re renowned for its exceptional educational institutions. The city is home to prestigious universities and colleges, such as the University of Toronto, Ryerson University, and York University. Whether you're pursuing higher education or seeking quality education for your children, Toronto offers excellent academic opportunities. The education system out in Toronto is fairly, uh, is fairly well, but when you're living in here, you don't even have to go to one of these schools in the sense that, that you live, there are other schools, one of the suburbs, but that's an option basis versus when you're living in, uh, at least when you're out in, when I was living in Winnipeg, if you didn't want to go to the university that were in the actual city of Winnipeg itself, your options are that that's just it. But in Toronto, however, like say you didn't want to go to University of Toronto, Ryerson, York University, you still have the options of going to the suburb school you can go to guelph you can go to queens you can go to mcmaster so i asked chat gpt what are some of the schools that are outside of toronto so they listed some more in the greater toronto area with sheridan college humber college centennial college durham college brock university at number four for reasons why you should move to toronto they have uh, the healthcare system canada has a publicly funded healthcare system and Toronto boasts some of the country's top hospitals and medical facilities. How long is the wait time if I uh, cracked my head uh, from playing basketball? Uh, it's actually a, a true story. I played basketball before <laughs> and I remember we we're playing two on two with my friend and this guy elbowed me on the head and I had to go to the emergency room. ChatGPT clearly didn't want to answer my basketball question when it injured my head. At number five, we have arts, entertainment, and sports. Toronto has a thriving arts and entertainment scene. The city hosts major film festivals, theater productions, live music events, and arts exhibitions. Additionally, Toronto is home to several major professional sports teams, including the Raptors, Maple Leafs, Blue Jays, Toronto FC is offering a wide range of sporting events to do. Only one I'm confident in speaking of is the sports area. And I will say uh, for the NBA, I agree with the Raptors. Actually, fun fact, I went to the finals back in 2019, paid tickets that were uh, too expensive. I think they were like 750 bucks. What are some of the major film festivals? Obviously we have things like TIFF. I actually went to TIFF earlier this year. Uh, let's see what else it generates. We have Sunday Film Festival, Cannes Film Festival, Berlin International Film Festival. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I, I didn't know any of the top three. Uh, TIFF. I, will, I went to TIFF. It's kind of cool. TIFF is a pretty cool event if you're into movies. You get to watch some movies that are unreleased to the public just yet. So you get to be one of the first people uh, should that be something of your interest. Yes, all these exist. Sporting teams are all exist out here. But you're paying like an arm and leg. Uh, to be kind of like in that vicinity or in that area, right? But here's the thing, it's like from my own personal experience, like I don't always go to like all these, in fact, I don't really go to any of these events. Last but not least, at number six, we have natural beauty and green spaces. This I already know is a no, without even reading it, but let's see. Despite being a bustling metropolis, Toronto offers abundant green spaces and beautiful parks. Hyde Park, Toronto Island, Rogue uh, National Urban Park are just few examples of the city's natural retreat. Because this one's a blatant lie. What the heck? You do not come to Toronto for the natural beauty and green space. Are you kidding me? Yes, there are some parks in Toronto, like in the downtown city court, but they're let's just say they're not they're not the safest. Straight up, no need to lie to you guys. They're not the safest. And let me tell you, Hyde Park. Okay, Hyde Park is one of the nicer parks, but still, uh, I've seen a lot nicer. Toronto Islands. Okay, that's it's cool, but you gotta take a ship over there. And when you and just to like take a, a boat over there, it's gonna cost you uh, probably like thirty bucks. Let me see. According to Google, it's uh, ten bucks to go to Toronto Island. Yeah, at, at number six, uh, this is a hundred percent not a reason why you should move to Toronto. You do not go here because you want natural beauty and green spaces. If you want that, go to the West. Anyways, those are the six reasons that ChatGPT has generated for reasons why you should move to Toronto. As a recap, we have economic opportunities, cultural diversity, world-class education, healthcare system, arts, entertainment, and sports, natural beauty, and green spaces as a final one. I will have to say, out of these six reasons why you should move to Toronto, I give four out of the six uh, legitimate reasons why you should move to Toronto, but I have to remind everyone that there always is a good with the bad because 
despite these are good reasons, I can name, like, these might be the six, but I can name like a hundred reasons why you also don't want to go to Toronto. So anyhow, what's that said guys, if you guys enjoyed me asking ChatGPT reasons why you should move to a particular Canadian city, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, really do appreciate it. And what else can I say? I guess, see you guys all in the next one. Peace.